it's story time, it's story time, it's story time. Come on over, sit right down, it's story time. It's story time, it's story time, it's story time. Come on over, sit right down, it's story time. One, two, three, freeze. Look, listen. This story is called From Egg to Robin by Susan Canizares and Betsy Chesson. And this is a nonfiction book. So all the information in this book is real true facts. It also has real life pictures instead of drawings from somebody. And on the back, you can see it says, uh, science. This is a science book and it says find out what a robin does before she lays her eggs then see what happens when the eggs hatch. So this book is going to take us through the robin life cycle from egg to grown-up robin. From Egg to Robin by Susan Canizares and Betsy Chesson. From Egg to Robin this is a robin. The robin builds a nest. There's the nest in the tree. The robin lays eggs. The eggs hatch. Here's the baby robins. You can see they don't have any feathers yet. And their eyes are still kind of closed. They look a little different. They don't have their eyelids. And then here they are a little later. They have some feathers. And now their eyes look regular. They're getting bigger. The robin feeds her babies. She's putting those worms and insects right into their mouth. You can still see they still look young. They don't have quite their grown up feathers yet. They just have their baby feathers now. The babies get bigger. They're starting to get more feathers. Now they are grown up robins. And this talks a little bit more about how long it takes. I see some numbers here. It says a full grown adult Robin is around 10 inches long, about the size of a double scoop ice cream cone. A Robin lives about a year and a half, but some Robins have actually lived to be 12 years old. When a robin is about a year old, it begins to make a nest for itself. It's one of the first birds in the springtime to nest. So that's an early sign of spring. Robin's nests can be found in many places such as tree branches, cliffs, porches, building ledges, and sometimes even on the ground. They are built mainly by the mother robin, but awfully the father will help too. And then down here it says the mother robin lays anywhere from three to seven eggs. Wow, that is a lot of little robins in a nest at one time. The mother lays one egg a day until she is finished and she is the only parent to sit on the eggs. The father stays close by in case of danger. The mother sits on her eggs for two weeks until they are ready to hatch. The baby robins are called nestlings and have pale pink skin under their baby feathers, which are downy white feathers. Those soon turn to gray. The babies are small and delicate and they stay in the nest for nine to 16 days. So about another two weeks. 
Baby robins cannot get their own food and they need their parents to protect them. At about a month old, the baby robins can go out and find food for themselves. As the baby robins grow older, their feathers begin to change and the white soft down they were born with turns to gray. Soon the gray feathers are replaced by their adult feathers. When the nesting season ends, robins gather in groups called flocks. Some fly south, while some remain north for the winter. The very next spring, the baby robins are grown up and ready to make their own nests, lay eggs, and have babies of their own. So when they're one year old, they're grown up and they're ready to lay their own eggs. And that is the end.